Alright, so in this video I'm going to be covering something that I haven't seen anyone talk about with the GoPro Hero 6, and that is the video quality at very high frame rate. So when the Hero 4 Black came out, there were quite a few users and reviewers who pointed out that when you step up the frame rate above 60 frames per second, the video quality starts to look really bad, lines start to become jagged, and basically it doesn't look like 1080 or whatever resolution you're using, it looks like it's much lower. And when the Hero 5 Black came out, I was a little disappointed to see that they still didn't fix that problem. So my hope is that they fixed that video quality high frame rate issue that has persisted since the Hero 4. This is all the cameras running at 1080p 60, and you can see here, they all look completely fine. Obviously, as you progress, the image quality gets a little bit better with the Hero 6 having by far the best image quality. Now, moving on to 1080p at 120 frames per second, here's where you can see the difference. Suddenly, the image quality of the Hero 4 and the Hero 5 drop off dramatically, and the Hero 6 stays just about the same. But I was hoping that GoPro would fix the issue, where when you step up the frame rate, the image quality drops off, and it looks like they did in fact fix it on the Hero 6. One last test here. 1080p at 240 frames a second, this is something only the Hero 6 can do, and side by side you can see that it does drop off, and so now the image quality is degrading like it did on the other cameras. So what that does mean is if you do want to go past 120 and use 240, then you are going to have image degradation, but hey, up to 120 frames per second there's no problem, and on the older cameras, even 80 frames per second, uh, anything above 60 actually had a problem here. Here on the Hero 6, it's only the absolute highest frame rate that has that issue. So overall, I'm very impressed with the results of the Hero 6 Black here. Before I did this test, I was 50-50 on whether this problem would be fixed, but I'm very happy to see it was fixed. Of course, it should be for a $500 camera, but that's a story for another time. Thanks for watching. There will be plenty more videos to come, and I'll see you on the next one.